Hey everyone, this is Brant over at RapidView Software Support Department. Today I'm going to go over the Panorama Scanner 4K software. So this is the software you're going to use for your 4K mainline system as well as your Panorama SI unit. Um, so just to get started here, this is what the software looks like. You'll notice we do have um, complete connection here. We've got the nice blue screen with the pictures of the units as well as the Panorama 2 4K UHD icon here as well. I can launch the camera uh, individually, so I can take a look at my rear camera, take a look at my back camera, so we know we have good communication. We've got green lights over here as well. So everything's coming in great. Just to go over a couple things here, this is where the settings are able to be accessed. So we do have some winch information as well as the actual camera information as well. So everything's coming in great. This is also where I would change to do my manhole mode if we had the SI unit selected or if I you know use metric units I would select that in here. I'm not going to go over a whole lot in this menu because it's all sort of more diagnostic tools than it is so much of things that a normal user would utilize so I'm going to go ahead and close this. So to get started we do want to make sure our cameras are calibrated and ready to go so I'm going to do a quick video on how to calibrate that and then we're going to dive into a Panorama mainline inspection. So I'm going to go up here to tools and then calibrate the camera. We have a black screen that populates. I do have my clear calibration cap currently on my rear camera. So I'm actually going to click the play icon. This is going to launch my rear camera on this one. And we'll see. We've got a nice black screen. As I bring this threshold down, you'll see we start to get some of this white space in here. We're basically looking for a perfect white circle with as minimal black space in the center as possible. So as I bring the threshold down, Let's see we get closer and closer and as I get too far you'll start to see we get some of these artifacts on the outside. I actually want to avoid that so I do want to bring this back up a little bit and have just a nice solid outer edge. It's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, this little tiny dot in the middle is okay. I uh, just don't want anything you know substantial in this center section. So now that everything looks good I'm actually going to go ahead and click start. Let's see we've got a nice load screen here. It's going to ask us if we want to adopt this calibration. So I'm going to just click OK. And it's going to say it was successfully calibrated. At this point, I'm going to actually switch the cap to the front camera. And we are going to launch the front camera. You see we're really close already. I do want to kind of show you a little bit here, so I'm going to blow this out. Um, if I click threshold, this is just going to show us what our camera actually currently sees. Uh, so the threshold is just kind of a high contrast version of the camera camera footage itself. So just to kind of let you know a little bit of what that button is doing. So to bring this back down, I want to kind of push it to the outer edge. So I want to get as close as I can to, um, you know, without any of this out exterior stuff kind of populating. So this looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and click start again. And it's going to give us the same two prompts we got on that first camera. And we are all good to go ahead and get this camera and the pipe. 